I want to move all the food to the other side of the fridge and put something amazing in that side of the fridge. Oh! What? That is so cool! Welcome to How To Quick That, I'm Anne Reardon and as you know over the last four weeks I spent some time in hospital with my son James and when I came home LG had sent me a giant fridge. Check this out. When you knock on the door it lights up so you can see what's inside and then when you open it it's got like this door in door thing going on so you can open just the front section to get milk and stuff like that that you use all the time so you don't let as much cold air out. And if you live in Australia you'll know electricity costs a fortune here so that is a big deal that'll help keep the electric costs down. So thank you for sending me a giant fridge LG. What I want to do with it is probably different to what everyone else would want to do but I want to to use this section here where you knock knock and you can see inside and while the kids are at school today I want to move all the food to the other side of the fridge and put something amazing in that side of the fridge so that when they go knock knock it's like whoa magical that's what I'm going for before we get to that though I wanted to show you some things that some other people sent me I have some letters here one from Abby thank you Abby bless you thank you for your beautiful picture I like the cupcake with the hearts on it that was really well done thank you for that I've got to find a spot to put all these letters up somewhere in the kitchen I've also got this lovely letter from Rachel thank you for that that nearly made me cry it was such an amazing letter and also for the recipe from your mum appreciate that I'm going to try that one with Jed over over the weekend thank you for that and I have another letter here from Samantha she also drew some pictures we've got an ice cream that she made and she drew here let me show you a big how to cook that cake and a lovely letter from you too Samantha thank you and nearly forgot in the envelope she sent are you ready a little Lego chef with long brown hair. How cute is that? I'm gonna pop that one right up here. So there's two of me in the kitchen today. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing is maybe a, a tree on the back section that goes up. So I'll take the top shelf out the next shelf down you can kind of wriggle back it's got this bit you can move back in case you've got anything tall like a tree that you want to put in your fridge so then I want the tree to go up and right up to the top of the fridge and have nice branches and not a real tree of course a chocolate tree that's what I'm talking about going all the way through there and then we'll have some background I don't want to put chocolate on the actual fridge so I'll probably use some glitter paper or something like that for the background and then some fake grass to come down to make it look like a hill this vegetable section we could just cover it up but it would be cool if we could turn that into some sort of a, a cave and put some gold coins so it's like this extra thing you can find when you're looking in there and then maybe some lollipops and maybe butterflies hanging down just I want it to look really magical so I'm gonna to have to just work with it and keep going until it looks just perfect so let's start with the tree to support the branches it's gonna need a stand or they're just gonna snap off under the weight of the chocolate then I'm just gonna use some tempered chocolate to glue the chocolate bars around the outside and use more chocolate to fill in any gaps that you have between the bars and then add in some extra chocolate bars for the roots so it looks like it's wider at the base and sticking out a bit. You can use whatever chocolate bars you like for this. Just go down the grocery aisle and choose your favorites, put them all in the trolley and then you can use a mixture as well. They don't all have to be the same. Build it up around the supports all the way up to the top. For the finer branches, I'm gonna use chocolate coated pretzels. Just trim them down to make them branch shaped and stick them on the end of your chocolate bars. Next, we need to drizzle over some melted chocolate over the whole thing, working with just one section at a time so that you can use a fork to drag it up the chocolate to give a bark-like texture and just a pattern all over the tree. So now you can't tell that I've used all different types of chocolate bars. It just looks like one consistent texture. 
Now so that our tree looks alive we need to add some leaves. I'm just going to use some chocolate to add mint leaves and green cloud lollies all over the top of the branches of the tree. Then to add some colour I'm going to use some freckles, just two of them joined back to back and stick those on. I know we have these here in Australia, I'm not sure if you have them in America but they're just basically drops of chocolate with hundreds and thousands all over them. That is a pretty spectacular looking chocolate tree. Way too much chocolate for my kids. We're definitely going to have to invite some friends over to share. So this piece here, just if you're not quite getting what's going on in my brain, is going to be sitting as if it's the end of this branch, but it's going to be sitting like here on the shelf on the front door, the door shelf that opens out. So this will be like the branches coming through the platform of the cubby house sort of area of the tree house platform. So that's the plan now to put it in the fridge and see if we can make the rest of it work. I might make the backdrop first and then we'll go from there. Now I'm going to use some sparkly stuff for the back of the fridge. As I said, I don't want to put frosting or chocolate onto the actual fridge because that'll be quite hard to clean. So I'm just going to prop this in and then cut out some clouds and stick those on too, just using some blue tack. For the cave part, we need to crush up some Oreos to make them look like dirt. If you don't have a food processor, just put them in a plastic bag and whack them with a rolling pin. Dump that into the vegetable section, spread it out, then put it back into the fridge and add in some chocolate gold coins. And I'm also putting a battery operated little fairy lights in there so that you can see into the cave. Then I'm going to add a sheet of fake grass coming down and over that, making sure you've cut out a little hole there so you can see into the cave. And now it's tree time. Super carefully add it into place. So it's a little bit too tall. We're losing a few leaves from the top there, but that's okay. I think it's going to just squeeze in. I think that looks good. Now on to the treehouse platform. The moving shelf doesn't come out of the fridge but the top one does so I'm going to use that as a template for making the size of the platform. Remember to leave a hole in it for the tree branch to come through and now we're ready to add that into the fridge except it doesn't seem to quite fit. I wonder if it will squeeze in. The silver bit must be a bit narrower. There we go. That will do. And <laughs> now we can add some lollipops growing like flowers and some fairy floss or cotton candy for clouds. Oh, and I forgot to make a ladder, so I'll quickly do that just using two licorice straps and some chocolate fingers going across, and we'll put that going up to the treehouse platform. Now to make some chocolate butterflies. These are really easy to make if you haven't made them before. I made a video on how to make these with the super fine wings about six years ago now. I'll link to that one at the end and then I think we'll be ready to go. Whew, that was a long day. I am finally done. Kids will be home from school any minute now. Knock knock on the fridge. Oh! Whoa, that's so cool! It's like a whole forest. Whoa, that looks incredible. The chocolate tree is my favorite. Oh, it has fairy floss clouds. Oh, that's so cool. That just looks awesome. invite friends over to eat it. Yeah. What? Oh my God. What? If you've got a fridge like this, make sure you make a scene in your fridge and surprise your kids or the other people in your house. And upload a photo of it in the comments section on the website so I can see what you did with your fridge. 
For more Crazy Sweet Creations, click here, here, or here, and click here to subscribe to How To Cook That. And turn on the bell for notifications so that you know when I upload a new video. Make it a great week, and I'll see you on Friday.